Welcome to the Fitness Oracle Daily Show. I am your host, John Katsavos, and today is Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And we're going to talk about why getting less rest can be a dangerous game for your brain. So um, this is a very interesting topic. It has a lot of different angles that we can take. We're going to focus on two aspects to it. And we're going to talk about how to get back to a quote unquote um, sleep, a normal sleep schedule. So first of all, for the first thing that I want to talk about is the effects of too much stimuli late at night. Remember on Wednesday when I was explaining the circadian rhythm, the circadian cycle. Between the hours of 6 p.m. and 10 p.m., we have a slow drop of cortisol. But the melatonin levels, they're still next to near to null normally. What ends up happening at 6 p.m.? People are already home. They just finished their work. They're coming down. They're, they're supposed to be easing down. They have their they have dinner with their families. They turn on the TV. What's the problem with the TV? You might be thinking to yourself, John, you're crazy. Of course you're going to turn on the TV. What else are you going to do between 6 p.m. and uh when I go to bed at like midnight, 12 30? The problem is when you turn on the TV, there's a stress level that comes through the through the TV screen, which is called blue light, through your eyes, and it hits the pineal gland in your brain, triggering and thinking it's still sun outside. Because blue light is a trigger from the sun that tells your brain it's still bright outside. There's still daylight going on. We need more cortisol being flushed into the system. We need to be doing work. So what ends up happening? Cortisol spikes right back up. So we have this jagged edge at the very top of uh, up until we go to bed and then cortisol just crashes. Remember, cortisol needs a slow and steady decline to null. It needs to slowly flush from your system before you go to bed. The crash what ends up happening with that crash is that when you go to bed, there's still a slow and steady decline of, of cortisol. It may not be as um, natural as the one from 2.30 till 10 o'clock, but it's, it's a little bit sharper, uh, but it's still there. So there's still cortisol living inside your muscles, inside your bones. So melatonin's like, well, I can't do anything because cortisol is still in there. I need to I need to get into the muscles and start repairing stuff. By the time cortisol is flushed, let's say, I don't know, just throwing out a number out there, let's say four o'clock in the morning, melatonin spikes so it can start doing its work it has zero time to fix the physical body and it has just a little bit of time to fix the mental state before you wake up at seven o'clock or six o'clock in the morning so you have two hours of only two hours of repair which is only mental but i want to talk about another problem that we have and this is rampant through a college and university with with kids and some adults too i know some adults out there that uh, pull all-nighters, what ends up happening? Cortisol still spikes. How are you going to keep the stimuli up? How are you going to stay alert? Coffee, more coffee, more coffee, more coffee. Or alcohol, 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 alcohol. You'll stay up all night. You'll stay up. You'll be up and wired the whole night, giving melatonin zero chance of the ability to repair anything in your body. Organs don't get repaired. Connective tissue doesn't get repaired. Muscles don't get repaired. Your brain doesn't get repaired. Your, nothing gets repaired. 
Why? Because cortisol is rampant throughout your body. Everybody thinks that they're so cool and they're fun and they're, they, you know, we, oh man, we saw the sun come up. Oh man, we saw the sun come up and it's so cool and this and that. Like, look how cool we are and, you know, we, look how tough we are. Look, how, Especially some guys. And I, I know a couple of guys that are in their mid 40s, early 50s, and they're still acting like they're in their 20s. Pulling all nighters are not is not a good idea because again, like like I said, like you have all this cortisol throughout the entire twenty four hour cycle. You're not giving melatonin the ability to fix anything, so you're going to get hurt. You're going to get weak, and you're shortening your lifespan. So what do you do? It's simple. Learn to say no. Understand the reason why you need to sleep. There's an important reason for it. And it's not something that it's not uncool. It's actually a very productive thing that you can do. Who cares what everybody else thinks? Sl Get that challenge and do the challenge if you haven't done it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to the weekly Wednesday challenge episode, rewatch it, and start implementing that now. Go from the time that you went to in your normal sleep time, shave off half an hour, and keep the normal wake time until you get comfortable, and then shave off half an hour. So you just all you did was if you're Sleep is like this. Sleep would be like that. And then you just shave off. So you keep you, you keep the same amount of time of sleep. Tomorrow's weekly Wednesday challenge. And um, oh, what am I saying? Tomorrow we're wrapping up the week. And I'm going to be giving you my biggest takeaways of what we learned so far this week. Um, I hope you guys have... Uh, enjoyed what we've been shit what, what i've been talking about what we've been sharing and i really hope that you've enjoyed it uh please don't forget if you're watching this on youtube or rumble please don't forget to subscribe hit the bell and share this episode if you're listening to this on itunes spotify google podcast breaker iheart radio or whatever streaming service you use please give us a five-star rating and a positive review as it will help us reach out to more people that are suffering from mental health issues before you go, I'd like to invite you to keep the conversation going by signing up to your free account on Pod Inbox. Over the years, we've discovered that in order for us to achieve the greatness that we're destined for, we can't do it alone. So in order for you to find your place back in this world, we've come across this amazing tool called Pod Inbox, where we can get together, discuss this topic even deeper, get clear, get clear on the questions that you have, and help you move forward in life. All you have to do is click on the link in the show notes and sign up to your free account and find out for yourself how powerful community really is. Until tomorrow, you guys have an awesome day.